Hello and welcome to Leo's Lockpad. We've got a Euro cylinder today. Um, I can't remember uh, what type it is. Uh, it's got the kite mark on it, it's got one star. Um, so there should be some security-ness in there. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. Uh, I got, I've got two of these, I've got another one. I got one off Hobby Picker, um, which I've still got to pick. And I got another one, and I can't remember where it came from. This one uh, comes with a key. Um, does work. A little bit of a hang up, but uh, it does work. So I'm wondering if possibly it is a challenge lock. Like I say, it's a little bit of a hang up, but when you turn it upside down, there is no hang up. Um, I'll show you the bit in. And there we go. Um, also, if I've done a trade, if, if um, I've asked to do a trade with someone and I've not done it yet, could you please email me to let me know which uh, person it was? The reason is, <clears throat> I've looked behind me and I've got uh, a couple of parcels. I've got one to send off to Stiggs, which is Monday. I've got um, a lock to send off to Daz Evers. But then I've got um, a bunch of locks in a box ready to go with someone. And there's a union in there. Now, uh, I'm sh I can't remember, but there's, there's definitely someone I was doing a trade with. And because I've been so busy... Um, I forgot, because normally what I'll do is, if I'm doing a trade with someone, I'll write their name down, and I'll write their address down in my little book, and um, I know who I'm sending it. For some reason, I've not done it this time, because I'm, maybe just I was uh, maybe I was stressed out, or I was doing something, I just completely forgot. But if um, you know if, if it's yourself or not, please email me at leonslockpad at gmail.com, and uh, I will sort it out. Uh, do apologise if I have said I'm going to send you one, and I haven't done it just yet. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I make good on all my trades. I've just been very busy lately. It's me son's birthday tomorrow, so I've been so hectic. Um, I've just completely slipped my mind, and I apologise. But um, anyway, um, if you're uh, into lock sport and you're, you're really into picking, uh, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk. And if you like my content on my channel and you like what you see and watch, uh, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon as I make two to three videos a week on picking locks, uh, making pins, reviews, all sorts of things as long as it's lock related. Um, but let's um, let's get on with this lock. Um, as I've shown it you a minute ago, what is working, so we'll get it picked. Um, now, because there's a hang-up, normally I would uh, pick this the right orientation. It would normally fit in the door, which in uh, England, it is that way. Um, I do like to pick the American way as well, which is upside down. But uh, seeing as this has got a bit of a hang-up, um, well, what we'll do is let's try it both ways. We'll try it the, the, the normal way. Uh, well, <laughs> if you're in England, it is the normal way. And we'll, uh, if it doesn't work, we'll try it... The other way. I'll just put the key in and just find out where the hang up is. Notice so it turns left and right. It turns clockwise easier than it does anti-clockwise, so that's the way we'll try and pick it. I'm using a homemade tension wrench, which was a window wiper insert, and a small hook that I uh, got from Trekmaster 30. Let's try it counterclockwise because I was getting nothing then. I'll click on number two. No, I'm just getting springiness right. Let's try it this way. Um, I'll just try the key again and see which way we've got. Right. Right, yo. Um, I've got to pick off the warning on this. Click off five, click off four, click off two, very nice click off two actually, click 
click off one. Get a bit of counter rotation on four. Well, it's not quite engaging. And up two. It's not one. No. Nope. Oh, and there we go. It was number five. We are open. Right here. Um, let's just get the pinning tray. Love this pinning tray. Sorry, I was just setting the camera up a little bit. Oh, sorry, one other thing. Um, I got really, uh, uh, before I remind myself, I got an email the other day. Uh, someone was asking me um, about my son's pit kit. Maybe they're, they're going to start one up for their own son or daughter, I don't know. But um, I'll give you a quick look. This is mine, which you can see here. This is my son's. Um, as you can see, it's got a homebrew. It's got plenty of different types of tension wrenches. Uh, he's got snakes he's got half diamonds small hooks i'm going to change that into a, a, another hook for him that one that harpoon is unnecessary um he's got a small hook we've got rakes we've got a half ball we've got more hooks more um tension wrenches another snake uh, a ball which is good for wafers um city rake another rake and then um a smaller diamond but uh, yeah, this is his kit. Um, it's a Dangerfield roller case. I uh, got these two from a uh, very good lad, which is Stephen Stowe. He, uh, genu uh, gen <laughs> he, he donated them, which is a, he's a very nice lad for doing that. Absolutely awesome. Um, and one other, this is my case that I take everywhere with me, usually in my car. Which consists of uh, my uh, pocket pick, which I got from uh, Red Cup Energy. Foxy, uh, another homebrew, sparrows, kings and queens, um, tension wrenches, an extractor, uh, a medium hook that was made for medicos, and it's like a worm rake type thing. And um, that's what I usually take with me when I'm uh, I'm going out, take a couple of locks with me. If I'm waiting in the car or anything, I can sit there and uh, have a practice while I'm bored. Right, let's uh, let's get this lock sorted. Right, we can close it so we can get the back off. Let me have a look. Oh, it's a spring one, which means it should be an easy. Hopefully, can't stand those crappy crimp. What the ones that you have to bend off and completely disfigure. We are off. Nice right, underneath. There we go. I nearly uh, put that through my finger. Don't want to do that. As it would probably look more than likely quite painful than you thought. Let's get the tweezers up here. And, and uh, then we're, uh, we're thinking. Uh, got some space. Right. Uh, key. Turns all up in there. Where's my follower? There we go. I don't want to lose any pins. There we go, we're through. Right, let's have a look what we have. There we go. Looks like it's definitely had some type of work done to it. We've got six pins. Well, them ones didn't even need a little bit of picking. That one doesn't need touching at all. Then again, we've got, we've got a wafer. Hmm. I just fell out, we've got a wafer there. So you could always overset yourself with that quite easy. Is that in number? It'll be number four. So we've got that there. There we go. Right, let's have a look what we've got. We've got a brass standard keeping. We've got a steel keeping. We've got uh, another brass keeping. Oh, we've got a barrel keeping, and it's a steel one. We got another steel barrel keeping. 
and number six. He's being awkward. We got a big wafer and a small keeping. There we go. Right. What? Anything in there? We've got counter milling right down there. And four and five. Now four and five, it's definitely for these. Like a barrel pin. A little thing. Mm -mm. That's what those nice clicks were. Because as I said, there was a really crisp click. We've got, any, we've got a steel barrel pin. Uh, driver. Number two, we have got a steel barrel pin. Uh, barrel pin. A driver. Driver pin, sorry. We've got... So that's a brass... Oh, it's a spool. And number... Four. We've got a brass standard keeping. Uh, driver. I don't know why I keep saying keeping. We've got uh, another steel barrel. And number six is a brass standard. Okay. We'll just straighten these up a little bit. Get a better view of them in a minute. And then we want to check out these springs. Got a steel spring, standard one. We've got another steel spring that looks to standard. Right, that's number fours because number three is quite is hiding. So uh, I guess and the other two back ones are the same size. I can see that. It goes there. Number six is still in. Oh no. Oh, there we go. That's for there. And last but least, where are you high? Oh, there we go. I think I have just dropped that. Give me one second. Let me just pause. Oh, I found it. There we go. Ah, bloody big hair on it. And there we go. Let's have a quick look. There we go. So from what I could see, we've got a barrel driver, barrel driver, steel. We've got a spool, brass. Uh, standard steel, another barrel driver which is steel, a brass standard driver, and then we've got a brass pin, steel pin, brass pin, uh, like a barrel pin with a wafer, another barrel pin, and we've got a standard key pin with a thick wafer. Um, well, I don't know. If you, if you recognise the lock, please leave in the comment section, please, if you don't mind. I'd like to know where it come from so I can say thank you and uh, give you a shout out. But that was uh, that was actually a really nice lot to pick. I enjoyed that. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.